coronavirus, are we prepared? So uh, we're going to take you along and kind of show you what we've got going. Uh, we're going to show you our pantry. We'll be cleaning that up and uh, showing our stock there. Uh, we normally have about five weeks worth of stuff, uh, just in case we would end up needing to hunker down for five weeks. But since they're talking about uh, a little bit longer period of time, we went ahead and bought a few more supplies. We made sure we bought things that we would use on a day-to-day -day basis anyway. Uh, just uh, upped our supply a little bit. So we'll show you the pantry and I'm building a few more shelves uh, to house a few of the things that we need to take out of the pantry. And so we'll show you that as well. We'll talk a little bit about uh, how to prepare, what you should stock up on. Uh, we'll talk to you a little bit about hygiene procedures, what are the right things to do uh, to keep yourself safe. And um, also, we're gonna be talking a little bit about quarantine procedure. Uh, if someone in your family were to get the coronavirus, like I'm the one that goes out, I work uh, and I do the shopping since I'm also the one going to work. Um, and so if, let's say if I were to uh, get coronavirus, how would we handle that? So we're gonna show you guys what our quarantine strategy is as well. So if you wanna see how we prepare, keep on watching. Okay, so pardon the mess, it's a little messy in the basement. Okay, so our basement's like partially finished. It's not finished all the way. But here's our pantry. So this is where we're gonna be tidying up. Uh, it's a little bit messy right now. We've got a few things stocked. And I think when Biname comes down, we'll go through some of this stuff with you. And I'm actually gonna be adding some shelving uh, in this room over here, which is where the furnace and uh, washer and dryer are. But back on this wall back here, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of shelving to take some of the things out of the pantry that don't really need to be in here. We've got some boxes and things down here that need to be taken out and maybe some boxes off the shelves back there. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll clean this out a little bit. What do you say guys? Should we get at it? Yeah. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna find some, uh, see if I can find some boards and stuff uh, back in the shed. And um, so I'm gonna head back there and see what I've got. I think I've got some old fence panels that I can uh, cut down and use the pickets from those and use those as my boards to make shelves and then my supports. I think I have some other lumber I can use. So let's go see what I got back there. Okay, so back here in the shed, I did indeed find some uh, some fence panels back here and I can just take those uh, fence pickets off the support boards and I can actually use those for my, uh, for my supports for the shelves um, and the pickets for my actual shelves. So that's my plan. I'm gonna go ahead and take those apart and, uh, and uh, build downstairs a few shelves for putting some boxes and non-essential pantry goods. So let's see what I can do. So hi Bella. Hi. So what do you think about this coronavirus? Are you scared? Are you nervous? Are you okay because we're prepping? Talk about it a little bit. Um, I'm I'm not nervous. I'm I'm good because we're prepping, and mm -hmm. I know that you guys are smart when you prep, and because because you guys are careful and Daddy's Daddy's going to work with a mask on and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I don't think we'll catch it. I I I. I am like taking it as a flu, mm -hmm. like as a flu, it comes and goes. Mm -hmm. So I'm not worried about it. Okay, and, good. Yeah. And if any, and like if something, anything bad happened, like we would have to stay in the house for a while and we maybe didn't have quite enough food, we would just trust God. We would pray. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Bella. No problem. <laughs> now you want it? Yeah. Just two per board. So. Bring it in a little. There you go. Center of the board. See the brace? You want it in the center of the brace.
Good. Now move down to the middle brace. And what you want to do is push your boards back. Make sure they're snug against. And then go ahead, find your brace. Look underneath and find your brace. Okay, and you want it right in the center of the brace, but you want it so you can have two per board. Good. Good. Keep doing just like that. Pulls this board all the way tight against your brace. Right. So down a little more. Is that good? A little more. Good. Okay. So, dry milk, cereals, oatmeal, cream of wheat, and yes, I use a lot of tomato sauce. Tomato sauce, tomato paste, tomato or diced tomato, I use them all because I'm African, I'm from Congo, and we cook, we use a lot of these things to um, cook. You want some macros, your canned goods, and then, um, so we go to the second shelf, your essentials, your oils, your, you know, salt, as you can see. Yes, we are a family that love ketchup, because I married an Amundsen, and they eat a lot of Mm, mm, good. So it is a sin in the Amundsen household <laughs> not to have ketchup or milk. <laughs> so I have to stay stocked up on these. You know. And then yes, we're Amundsen house, but there's also a Tremanga in me. I love my ranch. So we gotta have ranch <laughs> <laughs> as well. And Bella loves honey mustard, so we got some of that for her. Peanut butter, you can't go wrong with um, some good old peanut butter. And then honey for some strength, and then some treats for Ellie. And then um, lemonade. Now back here, is, we got some of these, um, these have already been here, but these are good for like, say for instance, if it really went down and we can't go out. These are really satisfying if you know how to cook for food, because it's like a, a heavy, starch. dense ch uh, starch, yeah. that if you eat, you'll be good for the whole day. Mm -hmm. We used to eat this like once a day. You fall asleep meal. after eating that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then I have my stuff and you know, etc, etc. Now, this is the most essential. These are rice. Um, jasmine rice right here, there's like 40 pounds. And then there's 25 pounds of beans. Now, I have other stocked elsewhere. I don't have to show you guys everything. And then on this shelf, you have all my make baking goods. My flours, my sugar, my etc, etc. We stocked up on um, a lot of water. So, at least, there's at least... 10 if not 12 packs of water in here and let's not forget the Gatorade because you need electrolytes yeah. so since the coronavirus attacks the lungs and it's kind of like it mimics flu a little bit you know with the flu you want to make sure you stay hydrated yeah. so we went ahead and got a bunch of Gatorade just to Mom. have on hand and if you go up here you know your crackers and Mama. stuff and then Mama. yes baby <laughs> What's wrong, to, Ellie? Hey, okay. What's wrong? <laughs> um, so, even though you're going through a hard time, you know, with the coronavirus, I think it's a good idea to get some food that kind of make you feel a little happy <laughs> about life. Like, so chocolate is known to kind of calm people down. So, stocking up on chocolate is good. And some baby formula here I have in case we run out of milk. We're not going to because we bought a bunch and we're freezing a bunch. Like I said... This is not everything we purchased. These are just like some of the dry goods because I can't show you guys everything. I just can't do that. Um, so a bunch of lice. So they, oh, there's only like three um, wipes and two spray. We have a bunch throughout the house. I think at least seven more throughout the house of both combined. <laughs> <laughs> My helper is helping me. Mom, don't forget this. And body washes and bleach and things we we didn't go overboard because these are things we use anyway we just ramped up uh, <laughs> thanks buddy thank you guys my helpers <laughs> so kleenex 
uh, what are these called? Paper towel or toilet paper. Yes, there's a bunch scooped to the back. And this is my medicine, our medicine area, like medication for, you know, your Tylenol, your Motrin, your, all the cold type of things. We watched uh, a vlog of a very famous YouTuber and they were like, bread, wh why are all these people buying a ton of bread? What are they going to do with it? FYI, you can actually buy a ton of bread and just freeze it. And when you take it out, it's just as fresh. Yeah, it stops time. Okay, exactly. Same with milk. Mm -hmm. Suck up all milk, freeze it. When you take it out, it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. So don't, um, don't think you can't do that. Right. Just FYI. And then, um, food is not only essential, but the other essentials are your vitamins. So vitamin C's, your Maltese, garlic, zinc, and elderberry are great when you're dealing with, um, if you're wanting to build your immune system, these things are really, really good. And mm. I have our air purifier going, um, and I just use this to purify the air a little bit. Um, so yes, Dora's going to go ahead and take you guys to where if he were to unfortunately get um, the virus because he's the only one that is out and about. This is what we will do. The coronavirus quarantine procedure. So let's go. Or, <laughs> oh, my baby. or I mean, I don't, from what I hear, it wouldn't affect me too much, but I wouldn't want to pass it on to the kids or Bename and no. then potentially someone else. Nope. So um, we have a, a gate in the fence over here. I would enter and exit the backyard through our wooden gate. And that gate has a padlock. A padlock. So because we have a tendency of neighbors just walking in, <laughs> they no longer do that because so, there's a padlock. And I would live in the playhouse, the children's playhouse. <laughs> so we, we won't go in tonight. But the playhouse is wired with 110 electricity mm -hmm. and has an outlet and lights in it. So I could put a space heater in. Uh, I could have my phone in there and keep it charged. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't be too bad. I'd be able to stay warm. Right. And uh, it's, it's a fairly decent little space just for one person. I, there's a little bench with a mat where I can sleep. Uh, Comment down below if you want to get a tour of the playhouse. <laughs> we might actually just go ahead and vlog. And so we, Biname would probably have like a common area, a table out here in the yard where yeah, she would somewhere like here. bring food or whatever if they're mm -hmm. having supper inside, set it there, go back in. When she's gone, then I could come and grab it and take it. Mm -hmm. When I'm done, they would come out, sterilize it, whatever, and take it back inside. So that's kind of our procedure. Probably wouldn't take it back inside until like a <laughs> month later <laughs> or get actually get a uh, paper goods. Yeah, just Use have paper, paper goods, goods and then burn it. And so I, I would probably end up being the one out here uh, just chilling in the backyard <laughs> how about toilet <laughs> so uh, probably would use like a composting toilet which would just be a five gallon bucket with, so if you're from africa you good <laughs> with some sawdust and then it would go back where the dog's refuse goes yeah so, somewhere back there yeah so i know it's kind of disgusting but that's probably what we would do this is not meant to panic people it's yeah. just preparation yeah. you know it's no good we don't anticipate prepare. that it'll get bad no but we're just talking about what we could do yeah so son yes what do you think about all this craziness? Um, Are you scared? Are you nervous? It gives me a little, like, it's like, whoa, what's going to happen next? Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, we're prepared. We're uh -huh. trusting God. Uh -huh. We're um, cleaning the house daily, doing... Um, what do you mean by cleaning the house daily? Like, we're making sure everything's clean after Dad comes in from work. We wipe yeah. the doorknobs. So I think we're going to be fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, when Jory comes home, he doesn't, like, hug us or hug Ellie. He yeah. goes straight to shower. He changes, and then we wipe down all the doorknobs and spray it with uh, Lysol. And then, then he comes out and he can greet us. But those are some of the um, precautions we're taking. So I'm glad you're not nervous. That's good. Yeah, the, nerve -wrack the only nerve-wracking part is when, like, you're watching the news and I come sit beside you. It's talking about... Oh, coronavirus this, coronavirus yeah. this. Yeah. Like, it's like saying, yeah. Like So it's too things. much of it is a, is a lot to handle. Yeah. Okay, but you're not nervous. No. You shouldn't be. Yeah. Because for some reason, God allowed not for the kids to get too bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you're good. What's the word I'm looking for? We canceled their dental appointment. We canceled my disappointment. There's a bunch of me. We pretty much cleared our calendar. 
And although our, our children aren't scared, they were pretty bummed out because of why. Ah! Lion King got canceled. Yeah. What do you mean by Lion King, Jaden? It's, um, so what happened was, Mom asked God, she was like, if this coronavirus is really serious, please stop the Lion King. If it's not so serious, just let it go. And so, um, That's right. a couple of days later, she was looking on the South Bend News, and she found out that Lion King has got postponed. Postponed? Postponed. Yeah, so their uh, Jeepa, a.k.a. my father-in-law, do you yeah. want to talk about that, Bella? Yeah, so we he was planning for us to go to the Morris Performing Arts Center mm -hmm. to watch an act, a Lion King act. Mm -hmm. um, Broadway show. Broadway show, yeah. <laughs> and so we were planning to go, we were getting all ready and excited, and, and this corona thing comes on. This corona thing comes on, and we... Um, Mom was mom was praying and they were praying that like God if this is really serious then please let it be postponed or canceled mm -hmm. and then like a few days later it was just like canceled and I, I I was like great it's canceled how was that good and then when mom said God answered our prayers I was like let's build an altar I was so excited <laughs> yeah yeah well good I'm happy you guys are well okay. are you hiding. Mm -hmm. You're so goofy. <laughs> Are you playing? Mm -hmm. Yeah? What do you mean? Yeah? I'm working on laundry, so don't mind this. Uh, so I hear that people are like going crazy about toilet paper. Javen, chase your sister. <laughs> A lot of African people who are who were poor, who were raised poor would know this, but So this can actually be used as toilet paper. So if things are just not really working, make sure of course your hands are clean. Right, Ellie? Yeah! I don't think I'll ever get this crazy, but I'm saying if it's really that bad. I mean, you go to the bathroom, there's a shower, just get in the shower. Like there's no need to fight. I've seen several videos of people like fighting over um tissue but let me just do a little bit more okay so for the most part this here is really soft this part you can touch it wow, wow. <laughs> why do they fight over toilet paper i can't say wow <laughs> Wow. So yeah, I mean, and we don't really need it. If so. it came down to it, you're fine. Like, don't panic. Quit fighting. It'll be okay. If you really just have to have paper, that's what you do. This is really soft. I kid you not. Try it at home, and you'll notice how soft it is. So, coronavirus. This is the response. <laughs> Make sure your hands are clean, though. <laughs> Understand it, it boggles my mind. But this is the paper goods aisle at our local Walmart. <laughs> at our local Walmart, the paper goods aisle. I mean, stripped of toilet paper and paper towel. Just panic bought to nothing. What in the world? All that's left is some garbage bags and a little bit of tissue down here. But this entire aisle is stripped. I mean, I, it's usually slammed full. I cannot believe this. <laughs> what is going on? This is where the water normally is at Walmart. They've restocked it with Gatorade and stuff. It looks like a lot of the veggies are in high demand too. Looks like onions. Over here, tomatoes are bought out. 
these are all Roma tomato shells over here. I mean, there's something that there's still a lot of. There's quite a bit of fruit over here. A lot of citrus. Actually, the vitamin C in that citrus would be really good for boosting your immune system. But anyway, there's there's a bit of panic buying going on here in the veggies too. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep looking up.